Okay, welcome back. So in this video, let's talk about a vision board. And ideally, you want to put all your goals on a vision board and put them somewhere where you can see them multiple times every day so that they remind you about what you're working towards. So your vision board should be easily visible to you. Example, next to your computer or in your study. You know, somewhere where you can see it every day and reflect on it and reflect on what you've actually done that day already to be able to move towards your goal. You know, what will you do next week and what will you do the week after? Always move forwards, moving towards your goals. And so in doing this, what you're doing on your vision board is you're going to add pictures of everything that it is that you want. If one of your goals is to have a new car, then cut out a picture of the color, the make, the model, etc. of the car that it is that you want. Make your dream ball pop. Make it stand out. You know, enticing you towards achieving your goals. Keep it positive and keep it fun. And you can break it down by areas of your life or you can make a, a whole board around the certain subject or the certain goal that you want. Cut out pictures from magazines or newspapers. Use photos or, you know, whatever takes your fancy. What I did with my family is I get the kids to, to draw their own and, and then we, we get different colors and paint and whatever and then really make it nice and colorful and stand out. And you can also keep score of your progress. So if you're doing something like a marathon, then you could keep track of the days that you've got left before the actual race starts and how far you run each day. Or if it's starting your business, maybe you have a progress bar of things that you've done so far or days before you leave your job. So all of this is going to depend on the context or the type of goal that you've set yourself. And of course, remember the reticular activating system and how that will help you to identify ways towards achieving your goal, bringing these things into your conscious awareness. So the vision board really helps with that. It helps to crystallize and become more clear what it is that you want. And then you're going to start noticing the potential opportunities to achieving that outcome. Now you can use various options for vision boards. You might use a physical board or you can create like a 3D shadow box. Uh, you could buy these on Amazon as an example. Or you might use digital vision boards, almost like digital frames. Or you could do something on Pinterest or some social media platform. However you do your vision board is perfect. What's important is to celebrate yourself for the little victories along the way. And do this with your family as well. This will also get them involved. And you know they see what it is that you're doing to moving towards this outcome. And it keeps them motivated. It helps them to motivate you as well. So as you create your vision board, have fun with it. Do whatever tickles your fancy. This exercise is going to help you to to help you with your visualization and to keep the image of your outcome in the forefront of your mind. And that's again why you want to be able to see it multiple times per day. As Zig Ziglar said, he said a goal that is casually set and lightly taken is freely abandoned at the first obstacle. Meaning you want to have concrete goals to take you and help you over the hurdles and the obstacles that may come up. So now that you've got your goals set, in the next video what we're going to do is we're going to help you to install these goals in your future. So how to go put it into your future timeline. So I'll see you in the next video.